Welcome to Lake Charles, where love is in the air and wedding bells are ringing. Like, we couldn't believe this was in Lake Charles. Like, this looks like something out of a magazine. Witness some of the most desired wedding venues in Southwest Louisiana through the eyes of fiancés faced with tough decisions. First I was surprised, but then it's like, okay, I can definitely see us being back here on that special day. Choosing between locations as unique as the love stories that unfold within their walls. I love like the natural light that comes in. See why Southwest Louisiana is the perfect setting for couples to start their happily ever after. Wow, it's so pretty. It's awesome. Join their journey as they say yes to the venue. Lake Charles couple Grant Kelly and Eloise Bouillon are searching for the perfect wedding reception venue. Having already toured two venues in Lake Charles, the couple continues their search in Moss Bluff as they stop by Enchanted Elegance, a multi-use event center with a picture-perfect outdoor scene. Oh, wow. Hi. I'm Ashley. Eloise. Nice to meet you. Ashley. Great. Welcome to Enchanted Elegance. Thank you. So this is my venue. We have it set up for a birthday party right now. We do weddings, showers, parties, any kind of family reunion, you name it, we do it. We have the round tables, we have the six foot rectangles. I also have cocktail tables, but they're not in here right now. We have access to the two TVs, they're 70 inch smart TVs. Um, you can do slideshows, post pictures, things like that. We also have eight different light settings. So depending on the ambiance you're wanting um, and what, how you want it to feel in your wedding, um, you can have it as light or as dim as you want. Um, most of my couples, they get married out here and they do their reception inside. And so this is gonna be the garden out here. Ooh. Underneath this tree, this is oh, wow. where most of my brides do get married at. Um, a lot That's of brides so do get married underneath the tree because beautiful. It is. Um, some get married in this corner over here on the side of the gate over here. It opens from the outside and so most of our brides have all their guests come here do the wedding and then they flow in through the event center oh. so they're not tracking through your reception area to come out here for the wedding. Cool. And some of my brides, um, instead of putting all the tables and chairs indoor, they'll choose to do indoor and outdoor. That way it gives you um, more room to flow freely um, and just kind of you know, you have a bigger crowd. Yeah, it's yes. beautiful back Thank here. Thank you. Thank you so much. We love it. Yes. Well, if you want, we can go back inside. Do you guys have any other questions for me? Um, as far as alcohol, we did a stock the bar party, so we have our own alcohol. Can we bring that in? Absolutely. You're welcome to bring your own alcohol in. You can bring your own food in. We don't have like a certain person you have to use for our events. Okay, perfect. I really love this place. Thank you. It's so charming. Originally, we wanted an outdoor wedding, and you know, since Louisiana is unpredictable with their weather, this kind of gives you best of both worlds. The inside's cool, but you don't even realize there's even a back part. And you get back here, and it's so spacious, and there's like this giant, awesome tree, and I don't know, it's like I said, first surprise, but then it's like, okay, I can definitely see us being back here on that special day. The couple's focus now moves back to Lake Charles with Cash and Carry, a faithfully restored 9,600 square foot warehouse built in the 1930s. It's a popular destination for weddings and events alike. Hey guys. Hi. I'm Ashley. Eloise. Nice to meet you, Eloise. Grant. Grant, good to meet you. Welcome to the Cash and Carry building. So just a little bit about the space. Uh, one thing that we do pride ourselves in uh, at Empire of the Seed is this particular venue is on the National Historic Registry. So when we redid it, we followed all the guidelines to make sure it stayed on that registry. This building was actually uh, built originally in 1936. Uh, and it was kind of like almost an old school Sam's Club. It was just like a warehouse sort of grocery store. So on the side of the building, when you see cash and carry grocery, that's really what it was. Um, wow. And it's kind of neat because we do honor that like grocery tradition with farmer's market that we have here every Tuesday. So uh, like the brick and all that cool stuff, you know, it's it's got a lot of history to it. Yeah, I like the rustic look like with the open beams. And all the windows up at the top, you know, the sunlight coming in. So I'm going to give you guys, you know, a, a quick look around, kind of show you kind of how things flow, where I typically see certain things for a reception. So in our facility, there's two options. You can hire a decorator 
or you can do the decorating yourself. So we're not really like a one-stop shop in the sense of we do everything for you. We basically handle the venue and the alcohol services and then a lot of the other things we like to allow you to kind of customize just so it doesn't look like everyone else's wedding that's been here. So back in this corner, I will often see the bride's cake. Every now and again, I will see it directly under this big beam here uh, because a lot of the times girls like to hang stuff over the cake. The bar, obviously, we all know what that's for. It's kind of a vintage kind of a feel. Yeah. It is a little bit masculine, so it's kind of fun to soften it up with like greenery or florals or candles. It kind of homies at the place. One thing that's fun too is I'll often see the couples spell their name up across the top oh, of the bar yeah. just to kind of make it feel like y'all's, you know, it is y'all's building for the night. Yeah. But the kitchen is through this door here. People can come, your caterers can come in and out. They can stage the food, kind of stay out of y'all's way. So for the catering, do you guys have like a list of caterers or can we kind of do our own? Good question. So at this venue, you can use any caterer you want. They just have to be licensed. So this is kind of like the meat and potatoes of the event area. Huge dance floor here. We do often kind of pop along these uh, cocktail tables at each column, just kind of centered. It's a good focal point. You have the big chandelier that I've seen, a lot of pretty like florals or greenery hung. It's just a really good centerpiece. So nice and big dance floor. You've got your guests seated on the outside areas here. If y'all want, we can go back and look at the bridal suite area. We do have a bridal suite that's included in all the pricing. This is the bridal suite area. So beautiful big mirror here. You've got floor to ceiling mirrors over there. You've got a big hook for your dress. You've got hanging racks here. So I am really big on just having a place that you can hide for a minute. So you can get ready here if you want to, but you don't have yeah yeah this is very nice i didn't yeah, even know this was like a lot of here. people don't yeah it's funny a lot of people don't we kind of hit it well so we also have a new outdoor space that we just added we had had a lot of brides ask for it so we were able to construct it and complete it this year we're really proud of it what i see most often in this space i've seen people set it up for like a specialty bar area i've seen people set it up for like yard games like washers or you know like like fun kind of cheeky things um, and just overflow you know seating smoking you could do some bar high tables in here just some fun stuff yeah i love this part this would be cute to like you remember we talked about like having couches and rugs and yeah. stuff like oh, a little yeah. sitting area yes. that'd yes. be very cute and oh i'd love to see it a cigar yeah. bar and cigar, a cigar bar. bar. Yep, we talked about cool. having that out here too. That would be awesome out here. I like the rustic feel, but I don't know how she feels about it. I know she's kind of wanting the clean, you know, eucalyptus and linen or whatever uh, feel, but you know, might fit in. But I feel like this works. Like it's rustic, but it's also like kind of modern in its own way. Like there's different areas that you can really like vamp up and like like the outside part, like that's a brand new part and it looks great with like the natural light and all that. So I don't know, I just didn't expect it to be this like enchanting, I guess. Grant and Eloise now move on to the final and most unique venue, the stables at Le Bocage. The state of the art equestrian facility doubles as an event center with a spacious event barn a 20,000 square foot arena, and a beautifully landscaped courtyard. Hi. Hi, my name is Lisa. Eloise. Grant. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Hi, you too. This is the stables at Labacage. So this is the barn where you can have a wedding, reception, or any type of event that you guys are looking to have. Do you guys want to take a look? Sure. sure. This is beautiful. Well, thank you. Let's open one of these. Wow. So people use this as like a reception space? Yes, and you guys could put tables, you guys could use it for, you know, like a vendor, a photo booth, anything that you guys, you know, would like to use it for. Okay, wow. And it's just like, you can kind of use any yes, stall Yes, and you, you have want. all the stalls, correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Wow. This is so different. Yes, I it is. I love it. So we're gonna walk like to the middle. Um, I would probably recommend um, maybe doing horse stall 
um, one of the wash stalls for a DJ or whatever you guys would like to do, possibly a bar. If you're doing a reception, most people, you know, will do some tables down the center aisle. You can line them up like on both sides, however you like. How do people kind of do it for like a dance floor or like anything like that? Um, if you're going to do a dance floor, I would probably recommend doing the dance floor in the middle. You can also do the dance floor like on each side. We also have a courtyard where you guys, if y'all want outside, you know, we could do um, a band or um, you guys can stay outside also. I don't know, in my head, I guess I thought it was going to be like a room that was like horse themed, like, you know, stable themed, but it's like you're actually in the horse stables, which is really cool. I just liked all the little compartments, all the like the, the craftsmanship, the brick and the metal and the gates and everything. I think it was just like it added to the atmosphere a lot. I mean, I can just imagine little lounge areas with different like pictures of us for throughout like our whole relationship. And it's just like, I don't know, it'd be cool little places to hang out during the reception. We can go to the other end. These are actually the wash dolls, but if you guys want to do a bar or, oh, okay. you know, anything like that, you guys could use this for a bar. Yeah. You could also have a DJ in here if y'all want to do that. And then we can walk to the end if you guys want to look. Okay, so if you guys, you know, want to do a food truck or a tent or whatever, um, you could put them like right here in the back along the side of the building. Um, and then we have the courtyard, which could be used for a wedding or a reception, either one. Wow, it's so pretty. It's awesome. You definitely can fit 200 people out here for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask kind of like what have people done in the past? Like what's kind of the popular way that people do it? I mean, everybody has their own, you know, way of doing it. Uh, mostly the weddings are done out here and the reception is in there. But we do have, you know, weddings inside the barn also. So it's a little bit of both. Gotcha. And when you get the space, do you get the barn and the courtyard at the same time? Or do you have to kind of pay You can for... So you can do either. Okay. You can do both of them or you can do separate. Okay. So. Can the grooms get ready in the stalls? <laughs> hey, if you want to, go for it. <laughs> I mean, you read it, it's yours, so. Awesome. Oh my gosh. And you guys um, could actually use this for a dance floor. Yeah. And, you know, y'all could put the DJ maybe up there on the other side. Yeah. And there's plenty of room for a dance floor out there. Yeah, that's kind of how I envision yeah. it, because it's like a nice open space. Mm -hmm. And it has like a little built-in stage for it. That would be really nice. This is a place that I didn't really, like it wasn't on my radar at all, but like coming and touring it in person is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's beautiful. And I would have never guessed that this was here. It's so strongly like outdoor heavy, which I like a lot. It scares me, but I'm willing to take the risk on gambling for the outdoor spot just because, I mean, hanging out out here for an evening for your wedding night, I feel like is like the dream. So it's gonna be a tough decision. On the final, say yes to the venue. The couple reflects on their wedding reception search, detailing how each venue fits their needs. It's really pretty on the inside, and then especially when you add your own decoration. The classic Lake Charles venue. But Grant and Eloise can only say yes to one. We need to make a final decision. You ready? Yeah. <laughs>